Sissy, that diamond necklace you were admiring. After my death, it was supposed to have gone to old Jessica here, but tomorrow I'm giving it to you. Derek, you can't. No, Uncle Derek, you shouldn't. Also, tomorrow morning I'm changing my will. <coughs> I thought my dear wife would be surprised, and you, little brother. I also thought I'd call in an auditor to go over the books, if that's all right. Pardon me? I might decide to call in the police, just for a little chat. Or maybe the newspapers. They enjoy a good scandal. Hell, I might do any one of a number of things come tomorrow. Just thought I'd give you all fair warning. I'm heading upstairs. If any of you want to talk about it, that's where I'll be. Some people just ask for it, you know what I mean? You're pretty handsome for a detective. Oh. She was truthful. That was one thing in her favor. <laughs> it's terrible about Uncle Derek, don't you think? And we were just becoming friends. And he didn't get to leave you anything. Yeah, that's the worst part. Now, where were you after dinner? Nice eyes. Oh, you get over them? <laughs> I was in the kitchen doing my schoolwork. Anyone with you? Well, Pembroke. I used to sneak out of the house and meet boys. So now they make me stay where old Pembroke can keep his eye on me. You were both in the kitchen? <laughs> sure we were. I've heard a lot about you, Cecily. Sissy. Sissy. And don't you believe it? They're all just jealous. Well, what's this I hear about a necklace? Yeah, I'm gonna sue him, too. A quarter of a million it's worth, and he promised it to me. Where were you last night? Free and clear. I went up to get my sweater, then went out for a walk. Only came back when I heard the shot. Hi there. <laughs> Are you trying to be like Pembroke, sneaking up on people? Yeah, he gives me the creeps. Like the other day when we found Uncle Derek dead in his yeah. room. There was Pembroke out of nowhere. Creepy. Yeah. Do you think the killer came in through the window? Well, he had a choice. He could have climbed up the wall, or he could have climbed over from one of the next door windows. If you're busy, I won't bother you. Not at the moment. No, we missed. The radio show Anne and Lisa did was rebroadcast the night of the murder. What time was it played? I don't know. You know, I think old Pembroke did it. Because about a week ago, he got this mysterious letter on scented stationery. Any other news for me? Mm-hmm. Uncle Derek was writing some kind of book. What kind of book? I don't know. I'm not by nature a nosy person. <laughs> <laughs>